Welcome to another interview, this time with Dan Mugford. Now, Dan, I haven't seen you since the last game of last season. That was a heck of a day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a big, big day. Um, you know, lovely day, big crowd out here, a lot on the, a lot on the line. Um, and, you know, we managed, to, we managed to pull through. It was a great, I think it was a great spectacle for, for all watching. Um, I'm sure some of the fans were a bit heart in mouth. But, yeah, I think, um, I think it was a really great day and a great day for the club to, you know, another year in the Championship this year. So. I mean, I have to say, I felt a little bit sorry for Isha on the day. They played some great rugby. That, if we're honest and look back, they probably deserved to win that game. But when we got that, that try that put us in for the bonus point, boy, I was on my feet like everybody else. But it, it must have been a, a, a bittersweet feeling almost after the game, was it? Yeah, I mean, it was, I don't know, it was, it was pretty sweet, to be honest. <laughs> um, you know, we, we, a lot, if you ask a lot of the boys, they, they probably forget that we even lost that game. You know, it was... We knew what we needed to, to stay up and, you know, I think sometimes we forget that actually we did lose that game. Fair, you know, fair play to Isha. They came out uh, battling very hard and played some, some great stuff that day. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it was just, we had to get done what we had to get done and, and we did that. So, you know, Isha, you know, unlucky, but we're, we're happy to be here once again. So. Now, look, the summer has seen us make a number of significant signings for the club. I mean, how are the boys fitting in the new, I think, 13 new signings? How have they all slotted in? Yeah, really well, actually. Um, you know, all the boys are from a lot of different clubs as well, but everyone's slotting in really, really well. Uh, we're looking sharp in training. People are starting to learn how each other likes to play. Um, you know, the way the new boys are learning the, the London Scottish way of playing and training, and, and everyone's fitting in really well. So it's, it's really looking good for the season. What about for yourself? I mean, we've signed Phil Godman, who's obviously got credentials there, and it is a wry smile on your face. I mean, when you saw that news, was it, you know, a bit like watching your grandmother or your mother in law drive over a cliff in your brand new Jaguar, thinking, it's great, but at the same time, boy, this is my position. I mean, it's it's great, isn't it? It's great for the for the club, you know, London Scottish to be able to bring in someone that's a Scottish international that's played at such a high level. Um, you know, for me, it's just it's just uh, someone I can learn off. But it's also competition. You know, there's no no way I'm going to sit here and and roll over and say, "Go on, Phil, you 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 get out there every week, and I'll sit on the bench." You know, I'm going to be pushing him all the way, doing what I can, and and whoever's you know playing the best will will play on the on the weekend. So, you know, I think it, it really gives me another edge this year. You know, obviously with James Brown here last year. You know, that was that was really good for me to learn and push myself there. And then with Phil again this year, you know, he brings international experience that, that I can learn off and hopefully push my game onto the next level. And in terms of our season next season, our, our aspirations and expectations, I mean, clearly the club is serious about next season with these signings we've made. Yeah, I think so. I think we've made some, you know, really good signings, some, uh, some big, you know, championship names this year. And I think, you know, the club wants to step up to that next level. You know, no, nobody wants to be near the, near the bottom of the table. Um, you know where we were unfortunately there last year so I mean you know hopefully this year all going well with these with these good signings that have come in you know we can we can start to push ourselves up the table and turn some of those narrow, narrow losses that we had last year and you know losing bonus points into wins and yeah then we'll see where we are and uh, now there's been some other news over the summer as well of a personal nature now this is nothing embarrassing I hasten to add not results from doctors or anything like that but uh, Muggy what's happened in your life? Um, I actually got engaged to my uh, girlfriend at the time, Christina. Um, girlfriend at the time? Or she, yeah, well, she, she's my girlfriend, sorry. Um, so yeah, we're now engaged. We went to Australia uh, to visit her parents. That They might watch this, actually. Um, did you ask for her father if it was all right for you to ask for a hand in marriage? I didn't actually, no. I didn't ask first. I made sure that we got on okay and, you know, we, we had a great time over there and, and midway into the holiday, I... Uh, dropped the bombshell. Yeah, just drop, dropped to one knee and, and asked her to marry me and, you know, very luckily for me, she said yes, so I'm, you know, incredibly happy at the moment and, and so is she, so... Yeah, she at the moment, you notice he said there, uh, no, no, I'm joking. No, please, please don't. <laughs> Now look, when have you have you got a date in mind at all? Uh, we're looking at you know probably the next two years. We wanna we wanna give time for you know obviously the season stuff. There's so much going on. It's tough to plan things. She's got a very important job as well. Um, so probably over you know the next two years we'll start to plan things slowly um, and then and set a date possibly. Not, not the summer coming, but the one after. Clearly not during the season. No, not during the season. I wouldn't want to miss out on any game time, you see. Glad to hear that. Played the political Ryan correctly there. Listen, um, you gave us some great excitement last year. I've no doubt the same this season uh, and really sort of uh, looking forward to seeing you back in action in a few weeks. Time. I can't wait for the season to start, can you? No, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. As I say, you know, I think um, you know, this pre-season's been probably my best so far. I'm, I'm fitter and stronger than I've ever been before. Um, and, you know, I've got that 
hopefully got that edge of championship experience this year. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting out there and, and showing what I can do again on the field. Well, I'm sure everyone would join me in wishing you congratulations uh, on your uh, impending nuptials, however far away they are, and, and uh, wish you a great season this season. Dan, thanks very much, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.